Exciting out of this world stuff right now from the moon, actually. Lunar samples collected 50 years ago, unsealed for the first time here at the Johnson Space Center. Here's Ron Trevino. We have ignition, two, one, zero, we have a liftoff. Apollo 17, in December of 1972, astronauts Gene Cernan and Jack Schmidt, the last men to walk on the moon, hammered cylinders into the lunar surface. Got my tools of the trade right here. Capturing layers of ancient history to bring back home. One of those cylinders, set aside by NASA, was finally opened this past Monday here in Houston. No one's seen this before. Yeah. Even the astronauts who collected it didn't get to see it. So this is uh, it was an exciting first day. It was all sealed up for five decades, NASA saving it for when better technology would mean a better analysis, making these NASA scientists the first humans to gaze on this moon dust and rock. It was kind of like dust and there are little rock fragments in there and they can be um, salts. This is what we have on our ocean floors or Hawaii. You know, the island Hawaii, when that volcano erupts, that produces basalt. And so we have similar rock types on the moon. But all of it scientifically pure gold. What's in the sample is going to tell us something fundamental about how the moon formed. And, and since the moon formed as originally as a piece of Earth, uh, this is really getting to how did the whole solar system start. And this all sets the stage for the future when eventually NASA's Artemis astronauts arrive at the moon's South Pole to gather more moon dust. But for now, they've got enough to study, hoping to unlock some of the secrets of the universe. Ron Trevino, KHOU 11 News.